Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Annette. And your boy, <laughs> Stanley. All right, we about to hit this real quick and light because I'm gonna bring it real quick. And then I'm gonna get on with what y'all like. But I think y'all like the ranting a little bit, probably more than the review. Uh, Listen, I've tried. Hardly, hard tried. Look. I'm telling y'all right here, this ain't a threat. This is a goddamn promise. Yeah. I will not be reviewing this show after it goes off. We will finish out the season. Yeah. We're going to try to. But I'm not, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I found myself getting so irritated last night. Last night I was tired and I said, you know what? For some reason, I think it's going to be terrible this week. So we're just going to lay in the bed, get our thoughts together. And we'll come back tomorrow after work, which is today. I looked at that thing last night, and I looked at Stalin, and he was half asleep. Mm -hmm. I was like, I I'm not going to be able to do this. It's I the same old repetitive storylines. You almost can predict almost what's going to happen while you're watching the show. No. Yeah. Huh? It's starting to give me soap opera vibes, and a whole lot of people said it is always reminding them of a soap opera. For me, it hasn't, because I don't like soap operas. It's kind of giving me a little bit more than a soap opera would do. But um, I'm, I can't, I can't, I just, I just can't do it. But on to the review. Look, last night I was laughing so freaking hard. Cause my cousin go tag me in something on Facebook talking about some. So the real Jim Cryer isn't far from the character that he plays. Why the guy, I can't think his name right now. I'll think of it after a while. So y'all don't need to put it down in the comments. Cause I know a thousand of you all will. <laughs> <laughs> um, he gotta go to jail. He's supposed to turn himself in last night. He got to spend three days in jail for not paying his ex-wife her alimony. God. I said, so you mean to tell don't. me the real Jim Crow? Don't it, pay a bill. A pimp. A pimp. And I uh, said. A rapist. So in real life, is those three days going to be Tyler Perry three days? Yeah. Or is they real three days? Or so gonna, he going to be they, out. Or they going to be Jesus three days. We not even going to go there. <laughs> We're not even going to go there. But on to the have and have not. Okay, nothing happened. But what did happen was, Demonica, after she done burnt, done, done scorched both of the cops, got total loss. We got an irritated David and a chuckled Erica sitting down. Yeah, she think that skit is funny. Sitting on the sidewalk, he's trying to gather himself because this ain't the first time that him and his possessions almost got burnt up by the yeah. same female. That's the second fire, man. So Erica's making jokes of it, and she was like, This is crazy, but comical at the same time. David was like, like, I can agree with ridiculous, <laughs> but funny? No. No. Uh, <laughs> you ain't almost get burnt up in the bed. Yeah, yeah. When you get burnt up, almost get burnt up in the bed, and you can laugh about it, then we can talk. But right now, this yeah, ain't uh -uh, funny. Uh -uh. So, cause he think that could have been us. Yeah. In his house. <laughs> so the fireman comes over. He talks to David, and he tells David, "Listen, anybody got a heart against their brother? Because somebody clearly did this deliberately. This is arson. David's still sitting there, just protecting the heck out of his wife." And this is where I go into, what is it that we all should know about David? Because he will yeah. not go but so far with Demonica because she's gave him this threat that if you go too far, I'm going to put all I'm your business on Front Street. It's like, what did you do? At this point, I just want to know what it is. Yeah, just let me know. Because I feel like I'm the one that's she, <laughs> she come in the house and freaking shattering your brand new glass table. You know how much them tables cost. Huh. Well, a good one. I ain't talking about the one you go down at the at the uh, rent to own up. rent to own. You can get a set for ninety nine dollars. No, mm -hmm. when you that's sit down, you be like this. Yeah, he, he, he got the good one, and she done tore it up. Yeah, and and he still protected her. Yep. So he tells the fireman, nope, don't know who could have did it. You know, I'll file a police report, which he know we know he's not going to do. No. And then the fireman was like, Erica, that's you. She was like, Do I know you? I helped change a tire on your car before. So David's looking like, hold on, wait a minute. This this sounds familiar because y'all know that's how she got David. Now she's acting like she don't know who this guy is. Now, let me tell you something real good, real quick. 
every flat tire that I've ever had in my life. I, I remember. remember it. Because you being embarrassed and pissed off at the same time. Man, that is a stressful situation. Yeah, and especially going to back and your spare tire ain't right. And so you know, know they give you, a bicycle, ain't right. give you a bicycle tire to get you about 25 miles of that. <laughs> <laughs> That should be against the law. Yeah, come it on, really back in the day, man, back in the 70s and the 80s, man, they carry you a, a whole freaking top. Whole top. Either the tiles in the back or up underneath the back, up underneath the back right there. And you yeah. know where that joke down? Yep. And Show you had to jack the car up like this and then get underneath there and screw mm. the pot. But you know what the jacked up thing was back in our day? When your parents ain't had the money to get another tile, they just go in the trunk and get the spare tile yep. and put it on there. So by the time they really do get a flat, yeah. You still out of luck. <laughs> yup, because you got to replace the spare top. And you've been riding on that for six months. Yeah, and now the time, by that time, it's either ball or dry rot. But that's, anyway. why they, that's why they probably gave them small tires. Cause to make cause everybody was rotating tires. Like, man, you can't buy your spare tire, man. You might be on to something. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. why they did it. They making you buy them now. Yeah, because they only good for about 25 to 50 miles. If that, and if you live anywhere like where we live at, if, if the road don't get I'd you. I would have had one blow out on me. Yeah, you did. Yep. Mm-hmm. Thank God I've never I've only had one. Yeah, one. The tire blew out and the spear blew out. And like I said, if you ever have a tire <laughs> issue, you remember. Yeah, so you Erica, do. I you remember. got some explaining to do. And this will piss me off. David had an aha moment and then he quickly went into Okay, so that does that guy know about your ex? We no 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 no. no. Yeah, I was like, what, Let's what, what? go back to the conversation. Yeah. Uh -huh. He found you with a flat tire. That dude found you with a flat tire. Come Is on you now. just a flat tire? Huh? Is you one of the girls? Because <laughs> you're not working for me. You're not on my payroll. But like I told you earlier, Dave is pussmatized, so that's all he's thinking about right now. Well, so here go Erica. You know, that's her way of kind of steering him back into the right direction. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was little, I used to always um, dream about being in a place like this with a man like you. And da -da. So David said, hold on. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? She's it's like, it's a good thing. Good thing? You're a good man. You know, I'm being taken care of and all that. I said, you know what? The hoes be getting taken care of these days. God, yeah, so you just came in the picture two weeks ago when you stand in a nice house. Riding around in a nice truck. Well, it ain't nice no more. <laughs> it's burnt up now. <laughs> Going out to dinner, getting brand new clothes. And... Come on now. And you don't do nothing. I said, David, man, you easy, man. You don't got easy. I said, what's your skill set? And then on top of all of that, when he first met Erica, wasn't she acting like she was this young professional that was getting off work? And going to these business meetings, and that's how she got the flat top. So yeah. now all of a sudden, ain't actually nothing about going to work. You ain't, you ain't. Like somebody said, it's all of y'all on FMLA, huh? Huh? Who's your doctor? And I need a note. Yeah. So I can turn that joke in, so I can be off for the rest of the goddamn summer. You know, fake off. You know, because I don't want to really be off, off. Yeah. Because yeah. you know, just, just what get you a little ask bit of time for, for yourself. Yeah. Because what you yeah. ask for, sometimes you do get. So you just need a little bit of playtime, man. Yeah. So Demonica, she all in her feelings now that she don't got home. She don't got into some brown because that brown makes you emotional like that. And she hmm. is so lit. I mean, she she's litter than I was in Jamaica. Yeah, she was. Oh, she lit. So hopefully, she took an Uber over there to the hotel because now, she told you know Candace, she didn't take no Uber over there. You know she drove so, over there. Tyler, please make your your drunks responsible. She took an Uber or a Lyft. <laughs> <laughs> over there to the hotel where the hoes be telling and she met Candace and she told Candace listen you need to get your girl under control because she is a she is falling in love with my man and that's what I want her to do but this love is for real for real for real and I don't know if she is gonna be able to let him go Candace was like I trained her I trained yeah she yeah she ain't falling for him for real this is all part of she said uh-uh you mm -hmm. don't know David's a good man. He's a good man. He know how to scoop him up. And he's one of them Harrington boys. And from what we see, something is up with them Harrington boys. She's falling for him. It is. And she ain't going to let him go. But what I need you to make sure of, you need to make sure that she breaks up with him and she breaks his heart some kind of bad. Because that's what I want him to feel. Now it, don't make no, it don't make no difference if she do that. Because David still going to treat her real nice. <laughs> Just like he's doing for Veronica. What worse can she do? For real. What worse can she do?
So Demonica, I mean, she so in her feelings, the deal that she had with Candace, she was like, you can have the money. Have everything. You can do, in, do what you need to do. And then old Brock, he come over there because he trying to ear hustle. Mm-hmm. Trying to hear what they got going on. He he wiped on a table that's been cleaned 10 minutes ago. <laughs> and she was like, little boy, little girl. I took and told you that it's clean over here. Go on somewhere, sit down. <laughs> Go on somewhere. And if you come over here one more time, I'm going to replace you with the girl that's over at my house not doing a good job. And matter of yeah. fact, give me a new drink. Need a new drink. Candace said, you don't need a new drink. Yeah, you, you, you need to go home. You need, matter of fact, you need to get late. She said, I've already had your brother. I'm good in that department. I was like, mm. Say like, no, you're not. She said, you could have spared me with that detail, but I'll send somebody to your house because at this point, you just need to get laid. Demonica done got her another drink. She done drank it half down. See, this is what drunks do. Yeah. You drank it half down. You knew from the first sip whether it was right or not. Uh-huh. This ain't right. Come over here and fix this. No. Fix it. That was the Aki Hall talk. No, nah, that was you trying to get another drink for without free. paying for uh -huh. it. <laughs> this ain't bottomless. Yeah. Like the guy said, you're not in Jamaica. The, the <laughs> all-inclusive means drink till you die. Uh -huh. Yeah, we ain't gonna talk about that. Yeah. But anyway. That's a whole so, other day, whole other conversation. Demonica goes home. And I said, well, who in the world? Because she said she had somebody to fix her little itch. I said, well, who the hell? Who, who she gonna send over there? I thought she was going to send with a name is BKRK with a name is. RK. Yeah, I feel like I thought she was going to send over there. Well, she called Deacon Derrick. Deacon Derrick was on the telephone with Hannah trying to get Hannah to go to the beach with him next yeah. weekend. Because, you know, that's an easy way to get the panties to the side. I mean, if you go to the beach, you're already half naked. You know, yeah. you're feeling yourself. The sun is, you know, everything is just like, it's, it's, it's real good. Yeah, whatever. But you but know, she's putting on a church baby suit though. What the hell is that? A tank top over the, the, the baby suit to cover you all the way up to go. The go. tank in it. Uh huh. Yep. And then she go have a freaking t-shirt on over top yep. of that. And maybe one of them little dress things too. But you can't see nothing. She gonna be covered up for the law. She gonna be holy in the. In but the see, that's all he gotta do is they'll tell us that you know what? Just like John the Baptist was baptizing people in the river Jordan, I'm gonna baptize you. <laughs> and when he baptizes, he's gonna lift the skirt on up so you can get. Status, stop talking. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> so Hannah agreed that she was going to go to the beach with him. Cause she said she ain't been to the beach in a good hot minute. I said, okay, that's a good look. <clears throat> he still creeps me out and I'm still trying to figure out what this is. But I really truly don't believe that he's her rapist. By now she should have been able to look at his eyes and yeah. tell. But we're in Tyler world. Like I said, it can happen. He gets that phone call. Demonica talking about her washing machine got gremlins in it. And he... He needs to come on over, over there right away. Now, the first thing I said is, if he goes over there, she got something on him. Yeah. Or she's paying him real, real, real nice. Uh-huh. Because you don't get out your bed. That, I don't get out of my bed for my employer until I freaking feel like it. Yeah. And that's, time my, to clock in. and that's my office hours. Anything other than that is not in my contractual agreement. Exactly. So I'm like, okay, she's paying him real, real, real nice. Okay. Gets over there. She's almost I lied. My, Ain't nothing wrong with my washing machine. My washing machine is rinsing real nice. <laughs> Matter of fact, I called you over here because I wanted someone what you got to play. He said, hold on, hold on. We're not doing this kind of nah, thing. No, I ain't right come here. over for that. She said, you did it before. I said, oh, really? He said, but that was years ago. You don't have a whole lot of people that you don't did before, and you've been married to David for a long time. Yeah. So come on here, Demonica. See, what think about on? it. Like I told you. If you don't got, you don't pay her, you got a buck her. <laughs> so you might well go and pay her. We'll work for but, Dick. But, but she know the average person can't afford her rates. So she can afford your wang -lang. That ain't a good look for a female, though. <laughs> that's not a good look. No, nah, that's not a good look. So she you said, basically, because he, he, he was trying to do the right thing. He said, no, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. I'm not down for that. And I'm going to go ahead and leave. She said, you walk out that door. And I'm going to put all your business out on Front Street. Hmm. All your criminal activity, your past, maybe your present. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it could be your future if I go ahead and put all this out here. And I said, he, hold on, wait a minute. He, what? he was like, go on, do what you got to do. I don't even care. So I said, I okay. Deliver. Whatever he did, he cool with it. And everybody else should be cool with it too, I guess. But now I'm thinking, I said, is Tyler trying to spring this God doing crap up about 
maybe being a rapist and that I don't know because with but, Tyler, but but it, it wouldn't it wouldn't match because that happened to him when she was little. So uh well he could throw it in there though. So I guess Veronica was, you know, a lawyer when she was like What show are you watching? <laughs> no, but no, let me tell you what really happened why he didn't get the draws for real, see. See he know Hannah and uh Catherine all them is connected, see. And she gonna tell So it. yeah, she gonna tell it. So he gotta make sure he get them draws first. Cause he already had them draws. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm going with that? So he can't mess up that hookup. Ooh, I just thought of something. As close as God doing Catherine and DeMonica was. Yeah. Catherine know about this. Yeah. But now you're trying to hook. Yeah. What kind of skit is this? Yeah. I don't know. I'm over it. Now we get to a point where that guy doing Brock, I told y'all, it's going to come back and bite Candace in the butt. She done crawls um, the wrong one. Now, he off of revenge. Brock done told, what her name is? Oscar. Oscar, yep. That look, Candace was the one that took your money. And the way she got it was she got some somebody, not yourself. He ain't said himself. He ain't somebody, uh-huh. Somebody took them got doing pictures. And now she got your stuff. <clears throat> She's in room such and such. I can't call her because we not cool right now. Yeah. But basically. I want a dead. You want a dead. Do what you got to do. Yeah. And that was basically everything that happened. Can you think of anything else that really, really well, happened? Benny trying to get out of the situation. They think he killed, killed the mob, the guy in the, in the freaking uh, bar. He's scared. You got the gun and you you shaking like you got Parkinson. Come on, man. You got the gun. Somebody brought up a good point. When do people that's affiliated with the mob call the police, but the whole time he on the phone with the police telling them to hurry up and come on over him? You talking about some your family gonna die, you gonna die because you killed somebody in the mob. Right. 911 is, is recording this phone. Yeah. Uh-huh. They listening. Uh what? But then he know that they own the police, so it, it really doesn't make no sense. It thing. don't even matter. It don't even make no sense. At this point, I don't give a rat say What it, happened? I don't care. Yeah, it don't it don't even matter right make now. Make it stop! We sick of Wyatt, we sick of uh Veronica, we sick of Jim, we sick of uh uh Oh, Justin! Oh yeah. Justin laying in the bed with um Jeffrey. Wyatt calls to do his confessional. You know, he always goes to the priest, Jeffrey, <laughs> to, to, to put it all out there that he don't kill somebody else and he wants to kill his goddamn parents and or and all of this Just stuff. Just go ahead and do Just it. Just do it. Stop threatening. Just go ahead and do it. Do Turn it. everybody and put everybody in jail. Then the show be over. <laughs> and we don't give a rest. Hey, what happened after that? Shoot. And Justin, he wants him to come over there so he can tell him the rest of the story. Justin told Jeffrey, if you come over, if you go over there, I'm going with. And if you go over there, I'm killing you. I'm killing him. And I'm killing my God doing self. And I said, when somebody tells you that, believe him. God don't believe him. And that's basically all that's that happened. It. I don't have nothing else for you because he ain't giving me nothing to work with straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. A pissed off two up, two down. Holla. Holla.